leaders of 12 railroad unions. They met with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg yesterday to address the derailment and safety improvements. Now, the same day, the Teamsters sent a letter to the secretary and the governor of Ohio. They say that Norfolk Southern put its workers at risk by not providing protective equipment. Days after the derailment, several railroad employees reported experiencing symptoms. And CNN has reached out to Norfolk Southern for comment on that letter. But for now, let's talk to Tony Cardwell. He's the general president of the Union Brotherhood of Maintenance of Ways Employees Division. Uh, Tony, thank you for your time. First, talk to me about these symptoms. Are your members experiencing them, and what are they? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Victor. Yeah, our members are uh, experiencing the symptoms, uh, headaches, uh, eye irritation, throat irritation, skin irritation, nausea, sickness. Um, they were um, put on scene shortly after the derailment and had been working on that scene for uh, quite a while after fixing and repairing the track. That's what our members do. They fix and repair and rebuild track. And ultimately, uh, they were put on scene and, and, and had, did, were not provided the, were being told they were not provided the proper uh, personal protective equipment. They were working out there in street clothes and leather boots and leather shoes. And obviously, those aren't uh, appropriate barriers uh, for the contaminants that were on the ground. And they were experiencing those um, symptoms on scene, but are they still, weeks later, still feeling those uh, symptoms? We are receiving reports that they are, and unfortunately, um, you know, when you you don't just it's not limited to just you on at the workplace. It's also sure. uh, brought home with you to your family. So we're concerned about the families of those folks as well, and uh, we hope that um, we hope that there are no residual uh, effects from this. But it's hard to believe that there wouldn't be considering the you know the contaminants that they were exposed to. So you say that uh, Norfolk Southern did not provide the protective equipment. Uh, we've reached out, as I said, and have not gotten comment from the company. Have you reached out? Have you had any communication with Norfolk Southern about that element specifically? We did. Uh, as soon as I found out, we had an immediate safety stand down. Um, they just simply told us that they were going to investigate the matter. They did seem concerned, and they did seem like they wanted to figure out if there uh, really was, you know, what we were saying was true. They should have already known this. They didn't deny what happened. What we said happened, what was reported to us, not by one, not by two, but, you know, 30 or 40 members that had told us this was, you know, what was going on. So the reports that we provided to them, they simply stated uh, that they were going to review them and go out to the scene and talk to the folks. Um, I don't think that's been done. I would hope that they would do this in a more timely manner. Uh, it's important that our, our members are protected, and I do believe that they were exposed, uh, exposed in a way they shouldn't have been. Um, we asked for them to be, you know, taken off site, and they they notified us that they weren't working at that time. This was uh, this was two days ago. We were told that they weren't working at that time on site, and that they wouldn't bring them back to work on site until they could provide the proper PPE. Mm -hmm. um, it's our belief, though, that there needs to be a lot of testing and a lot of assurance given to them that they were, you know, there isn't no um, permanent damage done. Um, unfortunately, I believe that that you know what had happened was is going to be a problem for these folks for a while and and i hope mm -hmm. that we can do whatever we can to get it corrected uh, norfolk southern has to has to be more responsible for when our employees are in a in, a, in an unsafe work condition like like this it's just totally unacceptable yeah um i understand that you were one of the union heads that met with uh, secretary Buttigieg, uh, calling for more protections tell me about the meeting what are you asking for what was his responsiveness yeah, sure. It was a it was a great meeting. First of all, it's a historic meeting. Uh, rarely are we able. In fact, I don't think it's ever happened before where um, we've had the opportunity to express our concerns. We often, you know, we obviously represent the folks on the ground. They know, they know the most about these issues and, and they have the most experience and knowledge on how to correct these issues. So we were echo echoing our member sentiments and uh, you know, Secretary Buttigieg was extremely um, courteous, and, and I believe that he's going to take these things serious. He assured us that he's going to look into these different issues, and he has been working on these issues. And it seems as if we're going to get some some results out of uh, out of his his staff, his team, and the White House. So it's it's exciting to be working with folks that are uh, willing to work with us to bring reform to the industry. It obviously needs it. Uh, this we've been warning of this for years and years. Yeah, and warning that the, the railroads trends that precision schedule railroading in their operating system needed to be corrected. 
Uh, it's unsafe for the it's unsafe for the communities. It's unsafe for our workers, um, and it's not good for the customers either. Um, right now, you hear the customers complaining at all time highs. I mean, they're they're extremely frustrated with the carriers, the railroad carriers, and and their operating system. And yeah. uh, it, it's come to fruition. Unfortunately, it caused damage and put a community in you know in an unsafe situation. And it's our hope that the reform. Uh, comes swift and it comes quickly and that the industry changes and so that you know it's a safe safe place to work and it's more importantly safe for the communities that they operate yeah. within. Tony Cardwell, um, listen, thank you for your time. Of course, uh, we hate to hear what's happening to the members of your group and uh, we'll check back with you to see uh, if you are getting what you were promised in that meeting with uh, Pete Buttigieg. Uh, Tony, thanks so much.